guys, today I'm going to show you how to control your iPod Touch or iPhone from your Mac. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is just go into Cydia and then wait for it to do its stuff, load up. This is obviously sped up, it doesn't quite go this fast, wish it did though. Um, once it's done doing its thing, go to search and you're going to search for, it's called Veensy. I'm not sure how if I'm pronouncing that right, but just type in V E E and it should pop up. First thing there. And I already have it installed, so mine says modify, but uh, instead it'll say install, so you click install and then confirm. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and it will show you the controls. Uh, regular click is just like a touch on the touch screen, keyboard you can type with, uh, middle click is lock button, and the right click is like the menu button, the home button. Um, Okay, so you're going to install that, then you're going to go to your internet browser to get the client to use it on your computer. You're going to go to Firefox, or Safari, or whatever you use. Okay, then you're going to go to Google and you're going to search for real VNC. Should be the first link that pops up. Sorry, it's a little laggy. Once you go there, you're going to click on VNC downloads. And then you're going to download the trial version. It, I'm not quite sure how much it costs, so I will put it in the description. But you're going to go and you're going to accept the terms. You click download. And that will download it. Now you're going to open what downloaded. It should come up as a disk image and you're just going to run the installation. Um, it's not a very big file, so it doesn't take that long to install. So it's basically like every other thing you'd install on your Mac, same setup, type of install, type in your password, and it will install. Okay, now you're all set to go, and you're going to go into your applications folder. You're going to click on applications. Then you're going to scroll down to, and there's going to be a folder called Real VNC. Open that. And then you're going to click on VNC Viewer. Okay, um, you're going to type in the IP address of your iPhone or iPod Touch and have it in the encryption to let server choose. Click Connect, and then on your device, a uh, message will pop up asking you to accept or ignore. Click accept and then you're in. Scroll around, you can go back and forth, you can do basically anything and you can also control it from your iPhone and have it show up on your computer. And congrats, enjoy and thanks.